all right guys welcome back to planter garden tv hope you guys okay all right guys today we're gonna talk about soil and the importance of soil and things you can do to build your soil bring your soil to a good place the problem is a lot of people don't have patience and a lot of people believe that they're gonna do this overnight and it happened guys in order for you to get your soil to a place where my soil is it's gonna take you years upon years upon years it's not gonna happen overnight don't make nobody fool you and tell you that this thing gonna happen in two three years no what gonna happen is soil gonna keep breaking down every two to three years the leaf and what you add gonna keep break down every two to three years but to get it to that place it gonna take years so don't be fooled don't make nobody misinform you about what's going on with soil okay in this little area as you see i'm dealing with clay soil in this area here but my goal is to turn this clay soil into a different type of soil a rich rich soil so what happening i start working on this and i start adding compost from my compost pile into it in the bottom of it i already add leaves which is these leaves pine straws if you notice you're gonna see pine straws guys pine shut take very long to break down but they will eventually break down all right and pine straw is very good for soil from my experience so what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to show you guys a little about planting and plant and taking care of your seedlings all right this is garden class begin if you want to learn about garden focus on this class all right so as you see we're dealing with clay soil we definitely dealing with clay soil here but my goal is to turn this clay soil into a different type of soil within a couple of years it's not going to happen overnight but at the same time it's not going to stop me from planting and growing herbs i'm not going to allow it to stop me and don't make it stop you as well don't make nobody tell you you cannot grow soil in food in clay don't make they tell you that because that's a lie you can grow soil in clay what you can be doing meanwhile you can be trying to add natural product to your soil and building your soil soil is something you got to be very patient in order for it to work all right so here we're going to be taking this basil you see these thing guys when you're taking out seedlings you really don't want to damage the root so you got to go a kind of wide and try break it up like this and you see the white root you don't want to damage the white root so what we do we already pour the hole dig the hole so what we do we transplant it right down inside there bring the soil right to the bottom of that leaf you see how beautiful that look in there all right so we're gonna put the next one right here and we're gonna come and we're gonna take this one okay your goal is not to damage the root of these plants because when you damage the root of these plants what's gonna happen you're gonna make you back the plants so the plant's gonna stay longer before it start growing. But if you ain't damage the root, the plant could begin growing at the same moment you plant them, okay? So you wanna make sure you don't back these roots. You see, there's a lot of herbs inside here, lots of herbs, but the space is small, so I'm only gonna be planting just a few. So what I'm gonna be doing when these plants get bigger, I'm gonna be adding leaves and compost around them. Okay, so what's gonna happen is 
the leaf and the compost that I had gonna rotten down over a period of time. Stay. You wanna stay away from the chemical because the chemical gonna be messed in with your soil. So if you wanna build the soil right, do it right. Don't bother with no one who tells you you could change for your soil in three years. It takes time. Yes, the compost you add could break down in three years, but that does not mean your soil gonna blend in with that compost within three years. It takes time. It takes time for the, so the compost to mix with the soil and it, what, it, what it continue doing, the worms, the earth worms, keep mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. And then when you catch yourself, you could dig a certain depth without seeing clay soil because the worms keep mixing. This is how important worms were earth worm to our, to our garden. So now, this already planned. This is a pineapple mint. The pineapple mint you see what i'm doing i'm softening the root this is very important to any plant especially when they are baby plants this is very important because their roots need to be able to spread and if it ain't soft enough for their root to spread what's gonna happen they're not gonna grow they're not going to grow so this is my little area that I'm planting herbs and I'm also trying to transform the soil into soil that I have in my garden. Okay. All right. So I hope this video helps someone or motivates someone this morning. Peace, love and blessing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.